All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing and liking the videos. Truly appreciate it. We've got the latest update from Tesla FSD beta 10.69.3.3, slowly working their way towards version 11 or 69.4, if you will. All right, but today we're going to change things up a bit. We're going to do things in the reverse order. We're going to drive a new route to get to our first location, our regression testing location. So we'll see our fares first and foremost in a different locale, if you will. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our regression testing last to test it out, okay? I'm gonna jump right into it. Uh, lots of release notes, none of which may make a difference, but we're gonna basically see what it looks like on the road, see what the experience is like, and then go from there, okay? So let's jump right into it right now. The camera's up. We'll take off from this destination, get to our regression testing destination, and then go from there. I will activate once FSD beta kicks in. Again, just if you switch profiles, if you've <clears throat> had it in park for a while, it takes a minute before it kicks in. So I'll wait for it to kick in and then I'll go. Get out on the street, maybe that might help. going and it's activated so we'll activate now hopefully everybody stands safe those that got it when it's gone sort of semi-wide for those that were on the correct build uh, they're staying safe out there getting a handle on fsd beta seeing what it does well what it doesn't do well and taking over early and often as needed pothole avoidance is still not there elon we need that asap please But I think that's the key to getting comfort is just basically allowing yourself to get a grasp of where it drives well and where it doesn't drive so well. And I guess the best way to do that would be your daily commute. Daily commute is a good way to get a handle on FSD beta uh, and just use it on your daily commute. Get a feel for it, get an understanding for it, see what it does well, what it doesn't do well, and then start to venture out a little bit more after that. So far, so good. No new visuals so far. School bus is here, visualized as a city bus. Um, so nothing different here. Uh, we got, we're on the dot 40 branch, which is great. So those that uh, basically couldn't get it the last time should probably get it this time when it goes out. School bus is trying to get through. Come on car, get through before the school bus comes. School bus is getting pretty close there. Now we're getting over. Good job getting over and the auto lane change on the city streets is much smoother than I guess the auto lane change on highway in the sense that it does it automatically. I don't need to give it feedback. I don't need to press a button. All right. No new visuals to speak of just yet. But everything seems really composed, really proper. And again, this isn't the regression test and this is just a net new test I've not done before to see how it fares. I have it set on the uh, middle profile, not assertive, not chill. The, the middle tier uh, profile for autopilot FSD beta. Gonna watch these curbs, sharp turn here. Foot over the brake, hovering. Takes its time. Good job on the curb, didn't hit it. Excellent job. And did a good job standing in lane. So that was really good. That was really good. Usually it, it, when it turns, it kind of has a hard time getting in the right lane at the right time. And that was pretty human-like. So I like that. Lots of Tesla news going on. I don't really cover the news so much, but if you guys want to hear about my take on some of the news that's going on with the Tesla stock, some of the changes that the company's making in terms of radar versus vision only, uh, let me know. I can do a separate video on that winding blind sweeping turn down a mountain Let's see what happens good job controlling the braking very smooth i don't feel awkward right here on this turn it's downhill steep grade pretty decent speed a little close to the left for my taste but that's not that's not critical turn signals on for some odd reason just because it's turning the yoke a certain degree don't like that behavior because the person behind me might think i'm trying to get into the lane 
So no good there. But again, these are small things we can pick up on or fix later. Let's just focus on the primary objective here, which is getting down this mountain. Very good job controlling the speed. I'm gonna actually change lanes here. This will be my only intervention, just cause I don't want it too close to here. I've done this before, way, way back in the past. Um, but again, I just don't like it getting so close to that guardrail. School bus is stopped up here. Uh, if we were first in line, I'd be interested to see if it would adhere to the school bus stop sign. If the school bus was in that lane and the stop sign just came out. I tend to think that it would do that most of the time, but I'm just curious to see if it, if it does it 100% of the time. So far, level of confidence, level of comfort is pretty high right now. I'll, I'll wait to the end to give it the final grade, but it's pretty high right now. Very comfortable, very human-like. Um, and we are on the early first wave of owner tester builds. So we do have our camera icon back. So I will press that as needed uh, if it does something funky. Little nervous here because it gets too close to the edge and those, those uh, uh, vines or whatever those are, branches are sticking out. Did a good job. Oh, excellent job there. Getting over quickly now. Has to get over. Quick maneuver. Can it get over? Slowly, methodically, but good. And cautious, cautious and patience is, uh, is a good thing when it comes to FSD beta. Not overly cautious uh, to the extent where it causes problems, but just nice and patient and slow, taking its time is good. Didn't have to really get over aggressively, even though I would prefer it to, but it did a good job. Left turn arrow, let's see what happens. A very short-lived turn arrow. I mean, somebody needs to talk to the local government here and the county or whatever and get this uh, adjusted. That light was way too quick. It's deciding whether it wants to go around. So inside of your uh, visualization, you'll see your path planner. Model 3 and Model Y could probably see it bigger than the S and X. But the path planner is there to tell you what the intent of the car is going to be. And sometimes it flails around. And as it flails around and, and calculates different uh, paths that it can take, the yoke or the wheel might also sort of shake. So don't get too, too weirded out by that. It's not the car being confused. It's just working out what it wants to do. And ultimately, it takes the right route, the yellow light goes through really nice job really smooth really smooth here tight quarters a little cautious okay that's okay going over the yellow line a little bit that's not okay i will flag that if i can reach it if i can reach it flagged it uh don't like that going over the yellow line unnecessarily we'll park cars no need to go over the yellow line i would have rather put in the mirrors than to go over the yellow line Very impressive. High levels of confidence by the car, which is great. Level of comfort is still high. Confidence is still high. Decision making is all still high. So those are the criteria that we use to judge and give it a score at the end of the video. Super high right now on this particular drive. Again, it's just sort of a new drive, a new-ish drive. I've done it a long time ago, but not recently in recent year and recent months, I should say. I'll bump up to 30 just to keep up pace, see how it performs. Still a little over hesitant on what it thinks a car is going to do, um, which is again, okay. As long as it doesn't impede or cause problems for the cars behind us, I'm okay with that behavior, uh, but it may be a little bit tuned down now, hopefully. Okay, sharp turn coming up, and then we'll loop right back around and do our regression path. This is a sharp turn. Let's see what happens. Who's going to go first? Is it going to let the car go first? I think it's going to go by itself. Good job avoiding the curb. Good job avoiding the curb. Yes. Not so good there. I'll stop. Flag it. Um, it kind of wanted to jump into the park here. And now I have the... Uh, I guess a delayed reaction uh, for FSD beta, a little bit of a delayed reaction here where it now says take over after it tried to like run us into the park. It just tried to run us into the park. There's another entrance right here. Um, it's typically an exit because the way we just came in is usually the entrance, but it doesn't have a, a sign delineating that. So the car necessarily didn't know that that wasn't an entrance and maybe it is, you know, uh, but it tried to jump in really quickly but behind a car. I don't think that was the right behavior. Uh, in terms of safety, in terms of decision-making, 
takes a little bit of a hit. So let's jump right back in. That was the first little uh, sort of new pass. Now we're gonna go to our regression testing path. And again, this is the exit out of this little um, parking area where the car wanted to come in. So it sort of made it an aggressive maneuver to try to come in. And again, I'll, I'll drop down safety just because it was unexpected. It wasn't what I thought it was going to do, um, but that's okay. Because again, that can be adjusted. And so for those who are new to FSD beta, and I'll talk about this more in another video as I engage here, um, where you put your pin dictates where the car is going to go. So if you just put a destination in, sometimes the destination is just the building itself, the location itself, doesn't include the parking lot. You can actually put the pin more precisely in the parking lot area and it'll go that way. Cars are coming. Good job hesitating. Good job stopping on that one. Next car is turning. Now we can go, 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 go. A little hesitant. Hit that manhole again, as expected. But overall, good job. It kind of crept up a little bit, a little bit too aggressive. I think if anything, the, 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 key, the key here is that we want to make sure that the car is not being very aggressive when it tries to jump out. Be, a, be slow and methodical, inching out, creeping up for visibility, getting to that creep limit, if you will. And then from there, I'll bump up to 30 to keep it at parity with what we've always done. And then from there, see how it takes this turn first before I continue. Into the shoulder, which I don't like that behavior. Very fast turn. Oh, I like that. It's pretty aggressive, but it was nice and smooth. I like that. Okay. Wide on this turn again. Had to slow down. So that was too wide. I will flag that one as well. Um, but it's very smooth. I'll say that about this particular build. This is a very smooth build. It took that first turn pretty fast, but it kept the turning angle. So the, the turn was nice and smooth. It wasn't like a, a herky-jerky type of turn. Some technical difficulties, apologize for that. Uh, but it was also smooth right there. But the issue here was just the fact that uh, it went so fast that it was you know, basically going too close to the curb that it had to slow down. And again, that could also be my theory that this is tuned for the models three and Y and not for the wide body of model S and X. Okay, little hesitant out here, still slowly going through here, and now it goes. Good job there. So that, I think that, oh, actually my foot was actually on the pedal, I apologize. My foot was touching a little bit of the pedal, that's why it hesitated right there. So that was still overall a good turn. As Soon as I let my foot off the pedal, it proceeded with confidence. So that was my fault uh, on that one. But so far, so good. This is looking really good, really smooth, much smoother than the previous builds, almost any previous build in terms of the level of smoothness and human-like that this drive feels right now. My fault on that last turn, and uh, we had a little bit of a, a camera glitch uh, that sort of cut out a little bit, but we're back at it here. FSD beta 10.69.3.3, northeast. And so far it's looking really, really good right now. Okay. Caveats here, just the, the wide turns, the fast wide turns that uh, don't really account for the mass and the width of this Model S Plaid, um, where it sort of takes it f aggressively and fast and confident, uh, and then starts to slow down because it gets too wide. It's sort of understeering when it's making the turns. But everything else here is, is pretty good. And I also noticed last build a sort of an oversensitivity to the front facing camera or this internal interior camera where it was just sort of reacting to almost everything. And right now I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking out the windows and it's doing a good job of not overreacting to that. So that's pretty good as well. It's confidence inspiring uh, for Tesla here. Same as last build, lots of, um, lots of solid objects, right? Stable solid objects that are not twitching and glitching around as they pass from one camera to the next. They're not twitching and glitching around as we stand still. So lots of stability here, still carried on from the previous version in this iteration. So that's really, really confidence inspiring. So if you haven't gotten this build and you probably didn't have a good experience with the last build or you just got FSD beta and you feel weird about it, this should be a step up uh, so far, just based on what I'm seeing right now. But again, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't wait for that until the end. And I'll knock on carbon fiber that uh, nothing changes that verdict so far.
Got to get over. Gets over. Signals at the last minute, which can be confusing. Um, but again, that's a small detail that can be fixed. All right, camera issue again. Well, we're back. All right, here's the real test. Does it stay here or does it go to the right? That's the real regression testing. It is going to the right, but a car was there as well. So I think that same behavior is still there conditionally under certain circumstances and maybe just in general. But um, that might not be the right behavior. Might not be the right behavior. It's not a bad decision, but it might not be the best decision based on repetition, based on what it's seeing over and over again. All right, some construction or some parked uh, truck over here. Cones are here. Good job going through it, taking its time. Excellent job. Train track is right here. Let's see what happens. Good job on the train track. Now, it usually goes in to make this turn and then goes wide. Let's see what happens. It can actually get in this lane. Ooh, wait a minute. It's going wide now, so some different behavior, and I can see it thinking in the path planner. Not the, be eh, not the best. So I still need some work there. I'll flag that one. Um, not the best decision in terms of how it wanted to turn, especially if other cars were around. Um, so confidence drops down a little bit, safety drops down a little bit, and decision-making drops down a little bit for that one. All right? And we're at our destination. Again, where you put your pin is gonna determine where the car goes. All right, so we've got FSD beta 10.69. Dot three, dot three, first drive in the books. Well, what are we going to give it? How are we going to grade it? How are we going to rate it? All right, here we go. So let's just talk about it. First and foremost, this was a very comfortable, confidence-inspiring drive, minus a few, uh, a few blips here and there. All right, in terms of level of comfort, this was a very comfortable drive. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. Overall, extremely comfortable, probably one of the most comfortable drives on FSD bid I've had. However, it did get dropped down some points for obviously the most glaring issue is where it tried to jump into the park behind a car, in front of the car, or maybe into the car. I'm not sure what it was trying to do there, but that made it uncomfortable as well as the different turns that it made at this last turn where it tried to go wide, then it tried to go inside and outside, so on and so forth. So that wasn't as comfortable uh, there. Okay, in terms of decision making, also made some really good decisions a majority of the trip. Places where it gets dinged is gonna be the place that uh, is pretty much glaring and that was the one into the park. So decision making is gonna get a six out of 10, which sort of ties it with the last build in terms of decision making. Uh, if it didn't do that maneuver into the park or try to do that maneuver into the park in terms of decision, that was a really bad decision. Uh, I think it would have got a lot higher, maybe a seven or even an eight. Um, the other things in terms of different types of turns where it sort of turned it at the last turn, that was a you know decent decision. Didn't really hurt anyone because no cars were around, didn't affect anyone. But the one where it tried to turn into the park, that was definitely a no-no. So it gets, a, it gets dinged big time here. So six out of 10 on decision making. In terms of safety, overall, a very safe drive. But again, it's going to get dinged with that park incident and it's going to get a seven out of 10 uh, just based on that. Um, I was able to take over. It didn't jump aggressively into the car, didn't cause the car to, to, to react in a negative way, but it was still an unsafe decision, an unsafe maneuver if I wasn't paying attention. So it gets dropped down. Everything beyond that was extremely safe. I felt very safe in the car outside of that incident. All right, last but not least, confidence. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a uh, eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, everything it did, it had intention, it had purpose, it knew what it was doing. Even when it tried to make that <laughs> poor maneuver into the park, it did it with some level of confidence. Uh, and everything that it did, it didn't really hesitate too much. Took precaution, but it didn't hesitate too much and it was pretty confident overall, so I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you got this build, this is probably the first wave, so you probably didn't get it, but maybe by the time you watch this video, you may have gotten it. And in which case you can come back and tell us what you thought about it. What you think about this build compared to the last one? All right, what do you thought of, what do you thought about the drive? The path that we took. Do you like this format better? Doing a new drive first and then doing the regression testing afterwards. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Stay safe out there. Take over often and early. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.